In this video I'm going to talk about the uh, static content or uh, better or newly called hero scenes. I will talk about all of them and uh, explain what uh, each look like and what they uh, display. Now if you're wondering why st the name static content or why the uh, the hero scenes well hero scenes are uh, trendy uh, name used in modern uh, web design while static content was the name uh, added uh, for these types of uh, elements back in the previous uh, versions so um, basically this these elements are neither uh, sliders they're neither uh, subheaders they're not uh, sections they're just blocks of different content with uh, uh, nice uh, nice options and nice uh, layouts so moving on in this video I'm going to talk about the static content reservation form now if you want to preview the element go to hero scenes and look for the booking panel yeah I know they're different names but um, they pretty much uh, they're just named differently but they're it's the exact uh, element I think I'm going to change the the name because I want it to be more uh, resemblant to the elements uh, name good so uh, this is the um, a reservation form or better said uh, the um, booking panel actually this is just a simple element will with which will display uh, I don't know a background um, with an image or a video or a YouTube video it's really up to you as you can see there's a scrolling effect when I scroll the the element um, it has a title here a call to action with a smaller text right here and I think the imp most important part of this uh, this element is this uh, reservation uh, form now this is actually standard um, many uh, I don't know hotels restaurants uh, different uh, different businesses that uh, use this reservation business model will use the this uh, this um, uh, form type so uh, you can see here we have a list of uh, the check-in the month the uh, dates how many no sorry this is the nights uh, the day of the month you can choose how many nights and how many guests and finally you can check for availability now in case uh, you're probably going to wonder okay but what this uh, form actually do where to be honest it is just a dummy form it does not have a specific uh, purpose uh, sorry not purpose a specific functionality uh, you will have to define it by yourself I mean there are too many uh, integrations with too many websites with too many uh, WordPress plugins with too many everything so it's up to you to decide what you want to do with this uh, element so I'm just going to open the uh, page with the page builder and I'm going to access its uh, settings so first to gain access to this option uh, bar I'm going to hide the header because I cannot hover it properly so I'm going to open the, open the options and here you can see we have uh, actually let me make it smaller we have uh, this uh, enable full screen uh, option as you can see the element is uh, fully stretched on the height by default is full width so 
only the full height is uh, specified. If I choose no, a custom uh, custom height field will appear. So, for example, I can say 700 pixels. Uh, then we have these uh, scrolling effect options, uh, which you can see translate, fade, and scale. Basically, if I scroll, you can see the background is scaling, while the text is um, translating to the top. Do not confuse translate with uh, language translate. It's just a CSS property which will move uh, the element um, relatively to the scroll not sure how to put it uh, otherwise as you can see this text right now sorry it's I will just uh, disable this uh, this one so you can understand this uh, better now as you can see here no effect at all the text remains the same and uh, that's about it uh, so basically this effect will will uh, add a nice scrolling effect for your scrolling uh, uh, for scrolling the, the uh, page with the either the mouse or trackpad so moving on to the content uh, we have the main title which is this one it's by default uh, I don't know I think uh, 32 pixels in, uh, in um, uh, font size this uh, field actually accepts um, accepts uh, HTML so you can customize uh, this text as you want for example if you want to I don't know just make the uh, font weight uh, thinner so we have some uh, classes uh, preset classes into the um, style sheet for example span or let me try differently yeah no it's okay so we have a span of with a class of F -A thin, which means the font weight thin is thinner so I'm just going to wrap on this part so you can actually see the difference so I'm going to save it yeah well the sorry about this I thought it should uh, should uh, make a change it should have make a change I'm not sure I think the yeah uh, this is a Montserrat font which does not support um, does not support the thin style I can only for example make it um, bold as you can see in this example here uh, it's uh, bolded right here while well, here it's uh, somehow semi bold or normal that's because the Montserrat font only supports two uh, styles uh, which are like I said regular and bold now moving on to the other uh, fields other options we have the subtitle this one right here we have the um, button main text but it's actually not a button we should change this uh, this uh, caption here uh, actually this is the text right here at the bottom as you can see starting from 99 euros uh, this one right here and then we have the button link text which is book now and you can provide a link here with a target and a uh, title um, title attribute for SEO purposes now these are the general options they're easy uh, they covered this part and now we're going to move uh, on to the biggest uh, the bigger and more advanced uh, options which are located here so um, like I said this form right here is uh, not quite customizable but it's uh, you can specify where to send uh, data now you're going to probably have a, a booking uh, receiver uh, 
platform somewhere so uh, we're pl actually planning a uh, mailing uh, feature for this one just I don't know if you want to uh, to uh, basically send you a notification if you someone has a booked or sent a booking request uh, we'll add this uh, this uh, feature in the future yeah feature in the future nice and uh, basically like I said this is more advanced so probably a developer would understand this uh, much better but I will try to explain as uh, simple as possible uh, each field has uh, uh, embed in the code has a uh, uh, name attached to a unique name attached to the uh, the field itself so basically by um, here you can specify your unique uh, name of the field now in this example M is by default but you can say month uh, Marius sorry then we can say the same for the day field day Marius and so on basically you will have to provide uh, for example let's take it uh, differently if um, on the other side where you want the this form to be sent uh, probably you will have to define a form and so on and you uh, the form will generate some uh, some uh, some values there uh, you will have to add those values right here or simply just if you want to create the form onto that side uh, just add this M D N and so on so you can I will try to do something which is uh, should be more uh, explanatory we can have a endpoint URL here which uh, <coughs> will basically send the uh, all these uh, uh, posted uh, values onto that URL for example I'm going to add the same URL here uh, the title doesn't matter for the moment and the target that uh, the target I will just leave it as same window so let me just try this uh, month uh, month uh, Marius day Marius night Marius and guest Marius so I will just save this uh, form and I will try to view the page in a separate uh, window and let me just select May 11th uh, seven, six nights and five guests so now when I'm checking the <coughs> uh, availability you can see here in the URL this link will be sent somewhere with these parameters basically what I defined earlier month day night and guests it depends on what you define there and uh, basically uh, the form you where you define in the receiver will receive these values and process the information now uh, I'm waiting a bit of uh, feedback for this element because I had a strong dilemma here and didn't know, didn't know how to proceed I actually wanted uh, and probably I will add uh, more uh, uh, forms like this because um, they're cool and um, I will wait for some feedback from uh, uh, from you if you have any suggestions constructive suggestions how to make it easier or I don't know whatever you feel like sharing just uh, do it don't uh, hesitate so like I said the advanced part uh, if you don't know don't really know what to do here a better hire a developer and he will understand this uh, much much uh, better yeah so 
now in the background and style options this is where you can define the options for the background but unfortunately I'm not going to talk about this because we I already recorded a video about uh, background and uh, actually called background options for elements in which I explained every single uh, option here and uh, because the uh, the these options are very very common for the page builders elements I just wanted to make one single video which is properly made then to include all these uh, these options uh, into each video so just look at that video and you'll understand uh, understand it uh, better so these are the options for this element if you have any questions feel free to ask me and um, if you have any troubles with the element just uh, subscribe to our support forums and um, my colleagues there will help will try to help you so thanks for watching and see you in the next one